Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Thursday, April 22nd. We're going to be going over some NBA DFS picks today on both DraftKings and FanDuel. But before we get started, we're going to take a quick look back at yesterday's picks and see how they turned out. So yesterday was a very good day overall. On the DraftKings side, we had Malcolm Brogdon, $7,700. Looking for about 38, 39 points out of him. Got to 61.75, so he is a very, very good hit there. Luke Kennard, $3,700. Looking for about... 18, 19 points out of him, and we got to 44.25, so he was another big hit. Edmund Sumner actually was like the worst one of the day, $3,300. Looking for 16, 17 points out of him, got 16 and a half, so he was just right on line with that five times value, so he was a hit as well. O'Shea Brissett, $3,100, 51.5 points, so I don't know the exact math on that, but I believe that's over 15 times value, so massive, massive hit there. And then last but not least, Joel Embiid. $10,600 looking for 53 points out of him got to 68.25 so he was a hit as well if you went with just these five guys alone you were already at 242 points then on the Fandle side we had Malcolm Brogdon as well $7,500 looking for 37 38 points out of him got to 57.5 so he was a hit Terrence Mann $4,400 looking for 22 points out of him got to 35.7 so he was a hit as well once again Oshai Bursett $3,800 looking for 19 points out of him got to 52.9 and then Davis Bertans, $4,200, looking for 21 points out of him, got to 29.2, so he was a hit as well. And then last but not least, Joel Embiid, $10,400, looking for 52 points out of him, got to 62.4, so he was a hit as well. If you went with these five guys alone, you had, let's see, 237.7 points to start off with. So if you had those other four positions lined up pretty well, you did very good. I had a very good lineup on the DraftKings side and a very good lineup on the FanDuel side actually yesterday. So FanDuel one, I was believe it was around 415 points and the DraftKings one, I believe was close to 370 ish. I can't remember off the top of my head. If you guys are interested in checking those ones out, I can definitely leave them down in the comments below. But with that being said, we'll get moved into the injuries for today's slate. So it's a six game slate. Uh, there's three games that do start right at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So you're going to have half the news right away. So that's kind of important on a shorter slate like today. Uh, for the Phoenix Suns, Jay Crowder is a game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing. And then Nader's out once again. For the Celtics, Evan Fournier, Robert Williams still out. Jalen Brown, doubtful to play. Kimba Walker, Jason Tatum, both game time decisions. This could be a massive value spot just depending on who ends up missing. I think there's a chance that Kemba doesn't play today. Tatum would probably be the one that I'm guessing has a better chance of playing, but we'll just have to see. Then we move over to the 76ers. We got Seth Curry, Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, who all missed last night. They're all game time decisions, but they're in the green, so there's a decent chance they play. We'll just have to keep an eye out on that one, though. And then for the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis, he's in the green game time decision, so he should play. Just keep an eye out on it. If he doesn't play, Bobby Portis definitely in play once again. Then for the New Orleans Pelicans, Hart and the Kill Alexander Walker are already out. We already know that. Uh, Didi Lozada, who actually is coming from Australia, I believe, he's out. He's got to go through the whole COVID protocol before he gets into the NBA scene. And then James Johnson, game time decision, looking like he's not going to play. So pretty much what we saw the last time out. Then for the Orlando Magic, Otto Porter Jr., Michael Carter-Williams, both out. Terrence Ross, James Ennis, game time decisions. They both missed a couple games now. We'll see if they're back today or not. Then we move down to the Detroit Pistons. Looks like Killian Hayes will be back today. Magruder and Dennis Smith Jr. are both game time decisions. We'll see if they end up playing. They're kind of factor in. Probably Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumley are going to miss this game for rest. Probably a couple other guys by the time we get closer to game time. It's kind of what the Pistons have been doing is play the regular guys one day, next game rest them, and then play all the young guys. Kind of makes sense that they're trying to see what they got with some of these young players as well. Plus, they're no good, so... It's not really doing them any harm not to really try as hard in some games. Then for the Spurs, we're just missing Trey Lyles once again, so exact same as the last time out. Then for the Hornets, we got LaMelo Ball, Nate Darlin, Gordon Hayward, and Malik Monk all out once again, so pretty much what we've been seeing out of them. Chicago Bulls, Zach Levine still out, and then Troy Brown Jr., game time decision, so no changes there. Then we get down to the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James, Jared Dudley both out. Mark Gasol, Dennis Schroeder, Marquise Williams, Andre Drummond, and Anthony Davis are all game time decisions. We'll see if Anthony Davis finally gets his way back today. Probably don't want to play him the first game back, but there could be some value there as well. Maybe not a lot of ownership going to him today on that first day back. 
Then for the Dallas Mavericks, Terry's out, and Maxi Kleber, who left the game last night, is a game-time decision. So we'll just have to see if he's playing today or not. But that's a quick little rundown on the injuries for today's slate. Once again, six-game slate. It's a little bit smaller slate. Probably play a little bit lighter today. But we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So at the point guard position, I went Kobe White for the Bulls. $5,500. Looking for, you know, 27, 28 points out of him. That's about what he's averaging on the season. Like I've been saying, he's in that starting lineup again. His price hasn't really moved too much. He's been playing slightly better, so I think he's definitely somebody you can consider today. The Hornets are not the best defensive team in the world either. So, Then we move to Josh Jackson at shooting guard, and he's $5,500 as well. Looking for 27, 28 points out of him once again. Averaging 24 and a half on the season. Been playing rather well lately, and when all those other guys aren't on the court, his usage rate just goes up, so just looking too good today not to play. Then we move to small forward. we got Mikel Bridges. Going against a banged-up Celtics team, $4,800. I don't know why his price keeps going down. Like, yeah, he's inconsistent, but he still gives you a good upside as well. So $4,800, looking for 24 points out of him, averaging 26 on the season. Playing solid minutes as always, so not somebody I'm concerned about not paying off today. Pretty safe option, at least early on in the day. Then at power forward, we got his teammate Cam Johnson, $3,500, looking for 17, 18 points out of him, averaging about 18 and a half on the season. Like I said, going against that banged-up Celtics team, if this game turns into a blowout, Cam Johnson's going to get a lot of run as well. And then if Jay Crowder doesn't end up playing, Cam Johnson's going to have a little bit bigger role in this game regardless. Then at center, we moved to Isaiah Stewart. Pretty much Mason Plumlee's not playing. We're going to play Isaiah Stewart unless his price is like 7000 or something like that. So $5,800, looking for 29 points out of him. We've already seen what he can do when Mason Plumlee's not out there on the court. Going against Jakob Pertle today. It's probably a matchup that favors Isaiah Stewart a little bit in athleticism terms, so maybe he has a pretty good day against him. But if you go with these five guys on DraftKings today, you'll have $24,900 left over, $8,300 per player, so definitely a little bit of room to spend up. You could probably pay up for two stud players today and then kind of find a value pick to pair with them. And then with that being said, we'll get moved over to FanDuel and talk about my picks over there as well. So we're going to start off with the point guard position, Cole Anthony, $6,300, looking for 31, 32 points at him. Pretty much what he's been doing the last three times out. His price should be a little bit higher than this. He's pretty much the best player on the Magic at this point in time. So as long as he's doing what he's been doing, no reason not to play him today. Then at shooting guard, we got Josh Jackson, $5,500. Exact same price as DraftKings. Exact same reason I'm playing him today. If everybody else is off the court, his usage rate just goes way up. And, you know, you're going to get that 27, 28 points at least that you're looking for out of him today as long as something crazy doesn't happen. Then at small four, we moved to Miles Bridges. He's $6,400, looking for 32 points out of him. Kind of sounds like a lot, but he's pretty much done that last couple games out. He's been playing like 38 minutes, which is just insane. But, you know, he seems like he's really coming on. And if he's doing that at $6,400, there's no reason not to play him today. And the Bulls don't have the best defense in the world either, so that definitely could help him out a little bit as well. Then at power forward, we're going with Isaiah Stewart. Kind of talked about him already on the DraftKings side. $5,500. Look for 27, 28 points out of him. Like I said, we've already seen what he can do when Mason Plumlee's not in the lineup. So overall, we're just going back to that Isaiah Stewart well once again. Then last but not least, we have center Tristan Thompson. $4,100. Looking for 20, 21 points out of him. That's pretty much what he's averaging on the season. Been playing more minutes. As long as the game doesn't turn into a blowout and they throw Luke Cornett out there, Tristan Thompson's about as safe a play that you can have at that center position today on FanDuel. But if you go with these five guys over on FanDuel today, you'll have $32,200 left over, just over $8,000 per player. So definitely some room to mix and match some guys, put some good stud players in, find some other values, put them in that come out later on in the day as well. But with that being said, these are my picks for today, April 22nd, for both DraftKings and FanDuel. But as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments below. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then I'll be doing some news updates, some injury updates. And I'm going to try to have all the starting lineups down in the comments below too as well. I actually coach in baseball this afternoon, so I get done around 5.30 Central Time. So, so hopefully I can get the starting lineups in time for the 6 o'clock games. But if I don't have those ones, I'll at least have all the ones for the later on games as well. And with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. 
definitely helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, and that's truly one for you, the viewers, helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL, helping you guys with your fantasy football teams, talking all the different football news this offseason, including the NFL draft, which I'm going to be covering a lot of. So if you guys are into that, be sure to check out my channel regularly. I'll be posting some videos probably this weekend going over some of my top prospects, some of my sleeper prospects for the draft as well. And then as I already mentioned, on the TNF YouTube page, going to be on there for day two for part of the night doing the live stream with those guys. Definitely a great group of guys. Definitely want to check them out. Their YouTube page link is down in the description below. And I definitely would recommend it, especially if you're into fantasy football. If you're into football at all, they have a wide variety of podcasts over there. And you're going to learn a lot of information from the people on there and the guests that they have coming on to their podcast as well. But with that being said, if you are new or current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I put up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos like this, as well as fantasy football and NFL draft content. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It definitely means a lot to me, and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.